Hey guys, Pez here bringing you a Thrazy tutorial for Cinema 4D today. Um, it's a plugin which allows you to break the text. Um, I'll show you an example here. Sort of, if you see this effect here, you get this by using the plugin Thrazy. Um, I'll put, you'll see the name in my title of this video. You're going to have to download the plugin yourself. Just type it into YouTube and find it. And um, I mean, because I don't want to do that in this tutorial, it'll take too long. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do it. So, open up Cinema 4D. Once you've installed the plugin correctly, if you come up to the tab here, plugins, you'll see this Throusy thing, and if you go into it, it'll have a bunch of Throusy or whatever. That, yeah, that's once you've done it right. So, open up your Lightroom, you know, get your scene ready, pull in some text. Basically, when you break the pieces, uh, you have an option. You can make the inside half of the broken pieces a different color to the outside half of the broken pieces, or you can just make it the same color. So, what I mean is, on the inside here of these cracks can be a different color to the outside, but I'm just going to stick to the same color for now. So, you've got to make sure that you drag two materials onto it. As you can see up here, I have two. Otherwise, it's going to come out gray on the inside. It's going to look fucking ugly. So, just make sure you drag two onto it. Um, and look, I'll just show you. If I render it out now, I mean, it looks pretty decent even without even without the, the break in it. I mean, this is a sick light room anyway, so... There you go. So you can see. So make sure you select your MoTeX on the right, come up to Plugins, come down to Throusy and choose the first one. Change the pieces to 8, and leave all the rest of the settings the same, because I don't really know what they do. Pieces determines like how many times you want each uh, letter individually to break, so it'll break the S 8 times different places. So once you've done that, just hit Break Now, and wait for your computer to break all the pieces. And then it should look like that once it's finished. Next thing you want to do is come up to your cube tab, hold it down and choose platonic. Uh, I need to get this into my scene first, so just drag that in and up. And then if I go back into my camera view, just pull it forwards and as you can see that's way too big. So just resize it as you usually would to about, that's a good size. And drag it across your first letter and you want to angle it this is really important you want to angle it so that it's like slightly in the shape but not fully in the shape if that makes sense so like half in half out like that that's perfect then you want to come up to the platonic, platonic up here on the right and just right click it come down to simulation tags and choose rigid body and this is really important, you've got to find a place on the letter where you sort of want it to break and mix it up a bit for all the letters, so on the S I want it to break here I'm just going to Command C or Control C, Control V to copy and paste the shape on O I want it to break here, on the A I want it to break down here on the R I want it to break, let's say, in the middle cool, so you've got all of those and then once you've done that, make sure you Go on all your uh, all your platonic shapes, and go to basic, and where it says visible and renderer, just change to off, or else those things are actually going to show up when you render it, which you don't want. So just do that quickly. Ideally, if you can do that before, it would probably help more before you copy and paste it, because then it does it for all of them. But I forgot. So yeah, there you go. Once you've done that, you want to come down here to your keyframe tab. You'll see this green, this massive green arrow, which is like to play the animation. You want to go one to the right of that, which is the go to next frame arrow, and just click that once, or twice, depending on how much you want it to break. That looks about good. Might be too much, but let's see. If you render it, you can see that it actually breaks where you put your platonic. I mean, this this isn't going to be the same for you guys. It's random every time you break uh, blink, every time you break it with Throwsy. Uh, the whole point of the plugin is that it just finds like random shapes and just breaks them. So sometimes you'll get something that you, you're not really happy with, and if you get that, just I mean restart the whole thing, or I mean just try putting the platonics in different places of the letters. So yeah, I mean that looks pretty nice as you can see. So yeah, 
um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or you request any other tutorials, I'm going to start doing a lot more. So, um, yeah, just leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like if this helps you, and you know, all the usual shit, which I always talk about, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I hope this does help. This is quite a commonly used thing, and there are qu uh, quite a lot of ways to do this, but this I find the easiest way, and it probably has one of the best results, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, and I'll see you soon. I have some new speed arts coming out and some new tutorials, so stay tuned for that. Alright, bye-bye guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.